Hello everyone! Uh, you're probably all wondering uh, why is there a Gandalf-like person here where, when usually there is a chessboard there. Uh, but uh, this is uh, this is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and he was a poet. And uh, it is because of his poem uh, that uh, the great American chess puzzler Samuel Lloyd uh, named his greatest chess puzzle uh, the Excelsior. And uh, well, I'm just gonna read it because it's I'm not really into poetry but this sounds quite powerful. Uh, there in the twilight cold and gray, lifeless but beautiful he lay, and from the sky, serene and far, a voice fell like a falling star, Excelsior. And uh, this is only the final verse of the poem, I will put uh, the link to the entire poem into the description below. Uh, but let's get to the puzzle. Uh, this is the puzzle Sam Lloyd created for us, and uh, it's, it's one of the greatest puzzles I've ever seen, definitely. And uh, Sam Lloyd actually had a bet uh, with his friend, uh, Mr. Dennis, I believe, uh, I, don't, I can't remember the last name, but his friend Dennis was also a, uh, a puzzle composer. And uh, his friend Dennis claimed that uh, any chess puzzle, just show him any chess puzzle and uh, he will be able to tell you uh, which piece uh, does not deliver mate. Uh, but uh, when Sam Lloyd uh, managed to finish this puzzle, uh, he, uh, he couldn't uh, tell Sam Lloyd which piece doesn't deliver, uh, deliver mate. And uh, I tried. Uh, I tried to give my engine uh, to solve this. I gave him like 15 minutes, and he still couldn't solve it. Uh, my engine manages to solve this, but uh, he he needs like 12 moves, and uh, you have to solve this puzzle in five moves. Uh, it's possible to solve it in six, in seven, in eight, in, in any in any amount of moves, but you have to solve it in five moves. And uh, well, since this is probably like one of the most famous puzzles ever. Uh, most of you probably already uh, saw it, but uh, those of you who haven't, uh, do try and solve it on your own. So uh, it's white to move and uh, it's mate in five. So uh, I'm saying uh, do try and solve it on your own, uh, you, you will feel uh, very satisfied. Even, even if you don't solve it, you'll still feel great. And uh, don't watch the video, just uh, you know, pause it and try to solve it and if you don't solve it, come back tomorrow. Uh, okay, <laughs> and uh, the solution is well. Uh, let's uh, let's analyze this a bit. Uh, obviously, the black king is stuck here in the corner on h1, and if uh, white would try and deliver checkmate, he would probably go about uh, rook f5. Uh, but if white played rook to f5, and uh, this does threaten uh, rook to f1 checkmate, uh, black can simply stop this by playing rook to c5. Now this uh, rook cannot go to f1 since it's pinned. And uh, after white recaptures rook, uh, mate in five is no longer possible. So uh, the correct idea here for white uh, is to play b4. And uh, b4 is now definitely threatening rook to f5, because if rook to f5 and rook to c5, then pawn captures rook. It's very simple. Uh, but uh, black, will, black has to stop this, of course. And the only way to stop checkmate here is rook to c5. He has to give up the rook. So we have uh, b captures on c5. And uh, now white is uh, threatening uh, rook to b1 checkmate. And uh, the only way to stop rook to b1 checkmate is to play a2. So, okay, uh, this stopped uh, rook to b1 checkmate. And uh, now white plays uh, c6. And uh, now white is again threatening rook to f5, rook to f1 checkmate maneuver. And uh, well, black has a couple of ways to stop this. He can either, uh, either uh, play rook, uh, bishop to c7 or he can play bishop to g5. So if rook comes to f5... Uh, this will allow bishop to f4, sacrificing the bishop, but not allowing white to checkmate in 5. Uh, so let's see, bishop to c7. And uh, now white, of course, doesn't go for rook to f5, because bishop to f4 will stop him. For example, rook to f5, now bishop to f4, uh, rook captures on f4, b5, any move for black, and uh, rook to f1 is checkmate, but this is in 6 moves. So after bishop to c7, uh, white has to continue uh, in a different fashion. He has to play c captures on b7. And uh, now white is uh, threatening to capture this knight. And uh, well, there is no way to stop this. Uh, the, the knight can't go anywhere. There is no way to capture the pawn. So after black makes any move whatsoever, for example, bishop captures on g3, uh, then white simply plays b captures on a8, uh, grabbing either a bishop or a queen. And uh, this is uh, checkmate. So yeah, and uh, this is uh, the, o the only way to do it, and uh, whatever black plays, uh, it's still checkmate in 5. So yeah, do tell me, uh, did you enjoy the poem, uh, did you read the entire poem, and uh, of course, uh, did you manage to solve the puzzle? 
And uh, if you haven't, if you try to use an engine, I'm also interested uh, with your engine and your computer able to solve it. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe for more videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.